Today I want to share with you a message that I received from Yeshua on June 7th of 2016. Now most of you um, that listen to me on these videos know that I have been given dreams and visions and a message from the Lord about an impending tsunami that will hit the east coast of America. Um, and this is the message that the Lord gave to me just most recently. He said, um, speak to the wave child command it to be still and immediately I said to the Lord I said Lord you have given me this message um, and these dreams about this impending tsunami and now you want me to command it uh, to stand still and he said these words to me he said my child remember Nineveh and Jonah I gave Jonah my word for the people that imminent judgment was coming I also commanded them to repent and they did which kept my judgment from coming. And we see that in Jonah 3.10. Then God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God relented from the disaster that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. And he said, Child, you are calling my people to repent, and they are. Now I want, to sp I want you to speak to the wave and command it to be still. And I said, Lord, how do you want me to do that? And he said, look at your daughter's prophetic art. The first picture she painted was the wave. The second picture she painted was the water in motion, but without the wave. And he said, these are prophetic pictures. Now I wanna hold up and I wanna share with you um, these um, prophetic pictures that my daughter has painted. Um, the first one that she painted was this one, which was of the wave. So I want you to, to take a look at that. And then the second picture that she painted shortly after that was this picture. And as you can see, uh, the, the large wave is no longer in this picture, but yet the, the water is still in motion. So then the Lord continued to give me these instructions when he said, he said, I want you to stand facing the painting of the wave and face to the east for the east coast wave. Decree and declare for the wave to be still. Then he said, stand uh, facing the painting of the wave and face to the west for the west coast wave. Decree and declare for the wave to be still. He said, as my prophet, you have the power to declare my words. Your daughter has the power to declare my words through her prophetic art. So when I, after I had received this message, <clears throat> I began to pray and say, Lord, I, I need some confirmation here to make sure that this is, this is truly a word from you. And, and as soon as I had prayed that, my husband walked out to where I was and he had sat down next to me. And I said, honey, we need to, we need to pray. Um, let's pray in tongues. And so we held um, each other's hands and we prayed in tongues and immediately uh, Will got this message from the Lord. He said, agree with whatever Patricia says. Um, so when he had, had uh, shared that with me, then I uh, shared with him the message of the Lord. And so my husband came into agreement that <clears throat> what <clears throat> I had said um, was truly from the Lord. So then I obeyed the Lord's instructions and I took those paintings in my hand um, I faced towards the east, uh, facing the wave, and I decreed and declared for the wave to be still. Then I turned towards the west, facing the wave of the painting, and I decreed and declared for the, uh, for the wave to be still. After I did this, I asked and I said, Lord, does this mean that the tsunami is canceled? And this is what he said to me. He said, child, I held back my hand of judgment against Nineveh. But they fell back into the same sin, and eventually I did judge them. You see, Nineveh was the capital of Assyria, and, and history tells us that it was completely destroyed in 612 B.C. by the Medes. And Nahum, uh, the prophet, prophesied um, about this destruction before it happened. We see that in Nahum 3.7. It shall come to pass that all who look upon you will flee from you and say, Nineveh is laid waste. The Lord continued with his message when he said this, I will hold back this wave as long as my people who are called by my name continue to repent of their sin and turn back to me. 
I want to read that one more time because it's important. He said, <clears throat> I will hold back this wave as long as my people who are called by my name continue to repent of their sin and turn back to me. <clears throat> we see this in 2 Chronicles seven fourteen to 16. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. The sanctified house that was uh, spoken of in this scripture was the temple that was built by Solomon. And this was the place that Yahweh set apart for his pres presence to reside. That temple was a foreshadowing of what would come in the future because right now, born again Christians are now the temple of Holy Spirit. We see that in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. It says, or do you not know that your body is the temple of Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have, you have from God, and you are not of your own? For you are brought at a, bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. Now, I want to read the full context of this scripture because there's a, there's a, a, a bigger and a more important message than even that. So I'm going to start in 1 Corinthians 6, 13 to 20. It says this. Now the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. And God raised up the Lord and will also raise, up us, raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them as members of a harlot? Certainly not. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you, you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So we see in this scripture that sexual immorality is devastating because you're sinning against your own body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you. You are taking what is holy and sanctified unto the Lord and you are making it a place of depravity and of and wickedness when you um, have sexual immorality in your life. So what is sexual immorality? I'm going, I'm going to define it for you so that you have no doubt. Fornication is having sex without being married. Adultery is having sex with someone other than your spouse. Homosexuality is a man having sex with a man, a woman having sex with a woman. Pedophilia is having sex with children. Bestiality is having sex with animals. Rape is having forced sex with someone without their consent. Incest is having sex with your family members. Prostitution is selling your body uh, uh, for sex and ha selling it for money. Masturbation is having sex with yourself while fantasizing. Now I included masturbation because um, it is sexual immorality because your thoughts uh, while you're while you're masturbating are usually lustful thoughts about somebody else. And Yeshua said that even if you look to a woman with lust, then you have committed adultery. Scripture clearly says that judgment begins first with the house of the Lord. That means his judgment begins with you and with me because we are his children. First uh, Peter four seventeen says this. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? So as Yahweh's people, we have the opportunity to delay this judgment by repenting of all of our sins.
So please, please, I'm imploring you, please repent of all your sexual immorality. Please repent of all your sins so that the hand of judgment will be delayed uh, regarding this tsunami.